Hey everybody, welcome back to Miss Anna's at home science lab. Let's get going with our lesson for today. You'll be working to earn your five stars throughout the lesson. Let's begin by watching this anticipatory set to find out what we'll be learning about today. Prevent diseases, maintain good hygiene. To prevent communicable diseases, we should always maintain good personal and environmental hygiene. How to clean our hands properly. Hand washing is part of everyone's daily routines. Let's learn the seven steps of hand washing. First, wet hands under running water. Then keep hands away from the running water. Apply liquid soap and rub hands together to make a soapy lather. Then rub it in accordance with the seven steps of hand washing. The first step, palm. The second step, back of hands. The third step, finger webs. The fourth step, back of fingers. The fifth step, thumbs. The sixth step, fingertips. The seventh step, wrists. Rub our hands for at least 20 seconds. It is about the time spent in singing a happy birthday song twice. Do not rinse off soap while rubbing. After rubbing, rinse hands thoroughly under running water. Then dry hands thoroughly with either a clean cotton towel, a paper towel, or a hand dryer. Do not touch the water tap directly again with your clean hand. Let me use a paper towel to wrap the faucet before turning it off. Bravo! When hands are not visibly soiled, you can also use 70 to 80% alcohol-based hand rub to clean your hands. Apply an adequate amount of alcohol-based hand rub onto your palm and then rub your hands according to the seven steps for at least 20 seconds until the hands are dry. How to wear a surgical mask properly. You look sick. I got infected. The doctor said I have respiratory infection. Then wear a mask to protect yourself and others. Catch it! Thank you. How to wear? First, choose the appropriate mask size. Children should choose the child size. Wash your hands properly before wearing a mask. When you put on a mask, the metallic strip should be uppermost. The colored side of the mask faces outwards. Position the elastic bands around both ears. Mask should fit snugly over the face, extended to cover fully the mouth, nose, and chin. Mold the metallic strip over nose bridge. In fact, most surgical masks adopt a three-layer design which includes an outer fluid repelling layer, a middle layer serving as a barrier to germs, and an inner moisture absorbing layer. Do not wear the mask inside out. Avoid touching the mask afterwards. Otherwise, wash your hands before and after touching the mask. Then let's take a look at how to properly take off the mask. Before taking off the mask, wash your hands first. Hold both the ear loops and take off the mask gently. Avoid touching the outside of mask. Then, discard it in a littered rubbish bin. Remember to wash your hands immediately. Mask should not be reused. Replace the mask immediately if it is damaged or soiled. Don't hesitate to change your mask. Thanks for watching that anticipatory set with me, guys. So next, let's review the steps to testing an idea. We're going to listen to a question, make a prediction, analyze the information, and check our prediction to make a conclusion. So based on the anticipatory set, what do you think we will learn about today? Do you think we will learn about preventing disease, fire, or hurricanes? Good job, guys. We're going to be learning about preventing disease today. Let's quickly review the steps for synthesizing knowledge. We need to listen to the teacher. 
listen to the whole lesson, think about the information now, and think about the information later so that we can make connections and draw conclusions. Remember, you will be learning that you can get ready in the morning and look and feel clean all day. And that you can wash your hands and keep clean to help keep from getting sick. Here is an essential question that we need to answer throughout this lesson. It is, what can I do to prevent the spread of disease? Let's look at some vocabulary terms that you will need to know to understand the lesson. The first vocabulary term is immune system. This is a body system that works to help the organism stay healthy. Then we have skin. Skin is the outer covering of the body. Bacteria. Bacteria are common microscopic organisms. Viruses. Viruses are very small things that often cause infections. Great job, you guys have earned one star. Good work. We're going to be reading chapter eight of our attainment curriculum today. It is called Immune System. Let's go over the main ideas of this chapter. The main ideas include the immune system keeps the body healthy. Germs can make you sick. Germs are everywhere. Antibodies help fight germs. We're going to learn more about all of these main ideas throughout the chapter. Let's get started learning about our immune system. The immune system protects the body against illness. It is always trying to get rid of germs in the body. These germs can sometimes make people very sick. Thankfully though, the body has a very effective system that prevents illness. The immune system begins with the skin. Skin is the outer covering of the body and it keeps most germs out. Sometimes germs may get past the skin. When this happens, organs and special cells inside the body help kill the germs. The body's immune system is then prepared for the next time it finds that germ. All organisms have some sort of immune system. It is very important to keep the organism healthy. Remember, Skin is the first line of defense for the immune system. Hey, you have questions coming up. So when someone asks you a question, you need to listen to the question, listen to all your answer choices, think about your choices, use your problem solving skills, Answer the question by choosing just one of the answer choices. The blank system keeps the body healthy. Is this the musculoskeletal system, the hypothesis, or the immune system?
Great job. The immune system keeps the body healthy. Let's learn about germs. Bacteria and viruses are the main types of germs. Bacteria are prokaryotic organisms. There are many types of bacteria. Most of them are harmless or even helpful to humans. Unlike bacteria, viruses aren't technically alive because they can't reproduce on their own. Both of these germs are so small that they can easily enter your body. Remember, bacteria and viruses are germs. Blank can make you sick. Can you fill in the blank? Germs, nutrients, or biodiversity. What can make you sick? Germs, that is correct. Good job. Fantastic, you guys have earned two stars, two stars. Using hand sanitizer or washing hands kills germs and can keep the body healthy. These germs are everywhere in great numbers. A doorknob can have millions of germs on it, but they are so small that they can't be seen. Germs can live on surfaces for a very long time. Some germs are breathed in as they float through the air. Washing or sanitizing hands can reduce the risk of getting sick from germs. Remember, germs are everywhere. Okay, when someone asks you a question, listen to the question, listen to all answer choices, think about the choices, use your problem solving skills, and answer using just one of the answer choices. Germs are antibodies, nucleus, or everywhere. That's right, germs are everywhere. Oof. All right, you guys, we're going to do a little experiment. And you guys, if you are in class, you may your teacher may choose to have you conduct this experiment. Um, in class or you may choose to watch. So we will be following the scientific method. Step one of the scientific method is ask a question. So what do I want to learn? Step two is make a guess or make a prediction. What do I think will happen? In science, we like to call this the hypothesis. Step three, do an experiment. So what are you going to be doing? What do you need to do? Step four, organizing data. So what happened? What did you find? And step five, find the conclusion. What did I learn? For step one, we will ask the question, how long do I need to wash my hands to get off all the germs? Here are the steps to washing your hands. You will want to follow these steps if doing this experiment. Step one, turn on water. Step two, wet hands. Step three, put soap on hands. Step four, rub hands. Step five, rinse soap off. Step six, turn off water. Step seven, dry hands. 
Step two, what do I think will happen? So how long do you predict that it will take to get all the germs off, AKA all the glitter? Do you think it'll take 10 minutes, 20 seconds, or five hours? Just make a prediction. We won't say if you are correct or incorrect. We still have to test our experiment. Good job making your prediction. Step three, do the experiment. So what do you need to do? You need to wash your hands. Set a timer to see when the germs are gone. So you're going to start a timer then you will wash your hands and when you see that all the glitter is gone stop the timer see how long it took you'll need a stopwatch glitter a sink and some soap all right step four what happened let's look at the data how long did I have to wash my hands for all the glitter to go away? Did it take about 10 minutes, about 20 seconds, or about five hours? Step five is what did I learn? Let's find the conclusion. It is important to wash your hands for 20 seconds. So I bet you guys all found that it was about 20 seconds that it took to wash all the glitter, AKA the germs off your hands. Washing your hands correctly can help keep you healthy. Amazing job, you guys have earned three stars. Now, if you would like an extension activity, you can repeat that same experiment, but this time use hand sanitizer instead of a sink and see how long that takes. Okay, let's move on. How about a little brain break after all that hard work? We need good high hygiene, drinky pigeon. Hand sanitizer, soap and hot water after everything when you do anything. So you're a tough guy, like to touch the mug guy, like to keep your palms dry, cough into your hands guy. I'm the clean type, like to see a clean type, trust the CDC type, scrub the surface sheet type. I'm the bath guy. Duh. Uh. Now watch it drip. Now you wait, wait. Twenty seconds. Now watch it drip. You yeah. so? Now you wait, wait. Okay. Don't touch face. Don't, don't touch face. Don't do it. Don't touch face. Yeah. Don't touch face. Yeah. Now watch it drip. Hey. Sneeze, bro, shouldn't use your hands better in that sleep, though. If you got a cough, catch it in your elbow. No shaking hands, we can wave for hello. Don't go out, bro. We don't want to spread any more disease, so we should follow everything the CDC knows. You'll be feeling better in a couple weeks, so. I mean, I hope so. I have a hands. I have a soul. Uh, soapy hands You just got home late And got cooking on your brain You can save the day mm -hmm. If you wash the tubs away mm -hmm. Cause the water's gonna spray, 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 spray For 20 seconds while you wait, 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 wait Baby, then you're gonna shake, 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 shake Shake it off, shake it off Germs like you don't belong on guys like me I'm gonna wash my hands, I'm gonna keep them clean Yeah, yeah, germs like you don't belong on guys like me I'm gonna 
won't stop the spread of COVID-19, yeah, yeah. This song just like gold, that hot water based combo. This thing for the mad germs, them sad germs, that bad disease. So pitch your hallelujah. Cause I'm clean phone, gon' give it to you. Cause I'm clean phone, gon' give it to you. Cause I'm clean phone, gon' give it to you. Bad bugs, we bout to squash. Don't believe it, just watch. Working out in bad, but I'm feeling like a snack. Yum. Time to wash up, gonna make myself some mad. Now you know I'm single uh, bound, 20 second count. That's round. Right. Hot water, soap, rinse, lather, and repeat. Now, nah. can nobody stop this scrubbing? You can't stop this scrubbing. Yeah, I'm gonna take my hands to a warm sink flow. I'm gonna wash till my fingers glow. I'm gonna take my hands to a warm Warm sink bowl, I'm gonna wash all these phalanges. Wash your hands to do 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 do. Wash your hands to do 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 do. Wash your hands to do 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 do. Wash your hands. No, but seriously. Everyone, I hope this finds you doing amazing. I hope you guys enjoyed that little brain break. Lots of different songs in there. Okay, here's an extra optional experiment. If you would like to do this, you will need pepper, water, a bowl, and hand sanitizer. I'll let you guys read it if you choose to do this experiment. All right, let's continue on with our lesson. We're going to watch this video, the Brain Pop, on how you should wash your hands. Time to go to lunch, Moby. Let's go. It's taco day. Oh, right. I have to wash my hands first. Thanks for reminding me, Moby. Why do you have to wash your hands? We touch lots of stuff every day, like when we play. Even if your hands don't look dirty, they still collect germs. Germs are icky stuff you can't see, and they can make you sick. A lot of kids touch the same things. So the stuff you touch collects germs from everyone. Germs can get inside your body, through your eyes, or through your mouth. If there are germs on your hands, then you can spread them to other people. But if you wash your hands, you can kill germs and help keep you and everyone around you healthy. How should you wash your hands? Well, first you need water. You can't wash your hands if you don't get them wet. The water should be warm, because that helps the soap do its job. Lather it up. You should wash between your fingers and under your nails, too. Ew, there's some leftover peanut butter stuck under there. You should wash for at least 15 seconds. 20 seconds. Good idea, Moby. I can sing a song that lasts about 15 seconds. So when I'm done singing, I'm done washing my hands. I could sing Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. Okay, now I'm done. Make sure to dry your hands. When should you wash your hands? Grandpa always tells me I should wash my hands when I cook. That way I don't spread germs to my family. And I know everyone should wash their hands before and after they eat. You definitely need to wash your hands after you do chores, like taking out the garbage. You stinky. Right. You should wash your hands after playing with animals. <gasps> if you sneeze, cough, or blow your nose... Be sure to wash your hands after so you don't spread germs. Thanks, Moby. It's really important to wash your hands after using the bathroom 
Right, Moby. There are lots of times when you should wash your hands. Who washes their hands? Everyone touches stuff, so everyone needs to wash their hands. People who work with food wash their hands, like cooks and waiters. Doctors who work with sick people wash their hands to keep from spreading germs. Mechanics need to wash their hands after fixing cars. People who work with money need to wash their hands too. Right, Moby. Robots have to wash their hands too. If you wash your hands, we can still make it for Taco Day. All right, they made a little mistake in that video. They said 15 seconds. We're going to add on an extra five seconds to be safe, and we're going to go with 20 seconds to wash your hands. Awesome job. You guys have earned four stars. We just have one more star to go. Let's read a little bit more of our chapter. We're going to focus on infection for a little bit. An infection can happen if a germ enters the body and causes problems. When bacteria and viruses infect the body, they reproduce so the infection continues. Once germs are detected, the immune system will begin to get rid of them. Infections can make people very sick. An infected person can also pass the infection to other people in different ways. When infected, it is important to stay home to avoid getting others sick. Remember, germs can invade the body's cells. This can make us sick. Feeling sick. Let's talk about that a little bit. You guys have been learning about this a good bit in science class with Miss Amanda. So, people usually experience some common symptoms when sick. People feel tired because the body has to use extra energy to fight the infection. There may be an increase in body temperature, which is called a fever that can happen. And a cough can develop because viruses often enter the lungs. The body can also experience chills, body aches, and night sweats. The body works very hard to get rid of the infection as fast as possible. White blood cells are special cells that fight the infection. Certain white blood cells make antibodies. These help fight the infection and prevent that germ from infecting the body again. Vaccines can help the immune system to prevent future illness. That's how our bodies fight back. Hey, question time. What help fight germs? Infection, antibodies, or the Punit Square? Antibodies help to fight germs. Let's talk for a second about allergies. Food allergies can cause very serious reactions. Allergies happen when the immune system thinks something is harmful when it's not. Allergens are substances that often trigger allergic reactions. Allergies to peanuts, tree nuts, and fish are common. Food labels say what allergens are in the food. Allergic reactions can be very dangerous and, in rare cases, can even cause death. An EpiPen can be used during an allergic reaction. Hey, question! A dangerous immune response to a safe substance happens in people with allergies? resources, or skin. People with allergies. Good job.
Immunology. So humans have two types of immune systems. The innate immune system is the first line of defense against germs. The innate immune system gets rid of dangerous germs that have infected the body. This system acts quickly to kill invading germs. The innate immune system protects the body in many ways. The adaptive immune system takes longer to start working, but is usually quite effective. This system makes antibodies that remember what germs have infected the body in the past. Antibodies use this memory to get rid of germs if they infect again. This part of the immune system prevents the body from getting sick in the future. White blood cells are cells of the immune system. Here's a picture of a white blood cell. Okay, we have a question coming up. So what is the problem? How do you know? What do you need to solve the problem? Do you have all the information? Try to solve. Is it wrong? That's okay. Try again. We are going to do some review. Blank are very small things that often cause infections. Vitamins, viruses, or fever. Viruses, nice work guys, that's correct. A blank occurs when a virus or micro microorganism enters the body. Infection, ATP, or allergies. Infection. Here comes our, our diversity piece. We've listened to the lesson. We're going to talk about how this lesson applies in the school, community, or world. For our diversity piece, we are going to be looking at doctors, nurses, and other medical care providers throughout the world <clears throat> in various different countries, and they all have on their PPE, which you guys have heard a lot about. At school, our PPE, or personal protective equipment, looks like a mask and sometimes a face shield or a smock. Check out what these doctors are wearing in Peru. You guys can use a map to look at where these places are. Here are some medical care providers in China, Africa, Iran, and Italy. Take a second to pause and compare and contrast the different PPE that is used around the world. Don't forget to go and complete your Google form activity for today. You guys did an amazing job. You have earned all five stars. Nice work. Hope you guys have an amazing day.